Greetings comrades, my name is Strike Antles and in today's video I'm going to be explaining why I probably won't be doing live streams in in future on my channel or in the near future at least. So the reason why I'm doing this is because in one of the groups I'm in it's not the main group where I have a lot of my arguments with Protestant with uh, Protestants and stuff but it's it's an it's a, it is a group where there are a few Adventists going around and they are making various posts and claims about the church. Now the problem is one of them owns a YouTube channel and he's very very adamant about anyone who disagrees with him he tries to make them appear on his channel in a live stream because he, he does live streams often on his channel like he, he does a lot of live streams I went to check out his channel he's not very good when it comes to presenting a to presenting a non-bias uh, case the one person in our group who was a Catholic, who is a Catholic still, the one person in our group who did agree to appear on one of his live streams, let's say they weren't treated very well and they were used as, you know, how, you know how uh, it, uh, the uh, the validity of a case doesn't necessarily rely on the the quality of the way it's presented. I mean, it, it sure helps. To, it sure helps to you know, have a good impression, a good impression for a case being presented. But just because someone may not be too good at communicating that case across, doesn't necessarily mean that the case itself is weak. And the problem is that he employs such tactics against the against us. So if someone, let's say someone like myself, let's say I appear on a live stream, I think we've already established with my videos that amidst all the cutting and me having to repeat myself and me having to put in uh, momentary subtitles so you can understand what I'm saying. I'm not very good when it comes to saying the right thing the first time perfectly. Sometimes I need to say it a few times, sometimes I need to repeat myself and other times I just cut out me trying to repeat myself until I can finally say it correctly. Me on a live stream, there's no way I could ever do something like that first time. Also because, although I know don't necessarily mean it, sometimes I say something accidentally, heretically. In my bad analogies of, of the uh, Holy Trinity video, twice, twice I accidentally said that there were three gods or something. And you could tell that I did not mean to say that. I said that accidentally. And there are other times in my videos where I do accidentally say something heretical. I don't actually mean I believe that. It's just that I've said the wrong words, I've said the wrong phrase, and... I'm not embracing heresy. However, if I say something like that, he's not going to really give me much opportunity to try and correct myself. He's just going to go along with surprise confession. He really does believe in three gods. But when we know that's definitely not the case. I am in communion with my church, which means I believe everything my church believes, which means that if I say something that sounds heretical, it's either because I'm not aware that what I said is heretical, or I just... Maybe I just worded something wrong. I'm like, okay, there's actually a better way of wording this. Let me word it better. Now, this Adventist has approached me a few times in our conversations talking about why, well, he's, he's been saying, really, if you disagree with me, why don't you appear on my channel uh, for a live stream? You'll talk about it. Now, other than, other than the fact that this is a bit hard considering we're in very different time zones and I'd like to, to go to bed on time, which uh, is definitely a struggle already, it's, there's no way I could definitely I'm not saying that the, cat, that the case for the church is weak, but I don't think I'd be able to, de to, uh, to get across the necessary theology and messages and everything correctly. With, even, if I, even if the case is true and strong, there's no way I can communicate it across effectively to the degree that he, want, that he would want it without him criticizing me. Then there's the more personal aspects that apply strictly to myself. And so that's stuff like saying the same fillers, uh, same filler words for sentences, having the same basic sentence starters, so it sounds like I'm just repeating myself, or me stuttering, me, mum me mumbling something, me not pronouncing something properly. I really said this before as to why my YouTube videos sound a bit funny, the, the audio at least, of me trying to speak. So combining me trying to improve how I record myself for my channel and actually make myself heard, along with him being very aggressive and critical in his live streams when it comes to arguing, arguing, arguing things. 
And that's probably why I won't be making any live, any live streams on my channel in the near future. Now that may change depending on how things go on my channel. So let's say, I'm not, I don't actually have, it's, it's not meant to be permanent. I would like to have live streams at some point, but if I were to have live streams, I don't think it'll probably happen for the next couple of years. Now, maybe, maybe between now and then my, my ability to talk properly improves, okay, improves significantly. And so I can communicate my care, my case across better. And if something like that does happen, then I may reconsider it, but I don't see that happening any, any, at any point in the near future, unless maybe, maybe, maybe you guys should all pray for me. And then God says, okay, I'll send down more of the spirit. So he actually says things right first time. I would really appreciate that. I would change my mind if something like that does happen, but otherwise, as long as I can see it, I'm not going to be making any live streams on my channel for the foreseeable future because I need to work on actually presenting my case better first time, one round. So as, as small as, as many, there's another example, as few mistakes as possible. Only way I can get to that point will I actually try and present, start making live streams because it would definitely, I'm sure it would actually be more helpful if when I'm busy presenting a case, you guys have any questions, you can ask, you can ask me directly in the, in the, in the live stream. And then when I put that up there, you can, people can just see in a sense, almost practical apologetics, you know, explaining things with people. And so just other than having more interaction between me and you, there's also the because obviously when you read something in a theology book, you're not going to have to explain something that exact same way, like word for word or anything. There's no way that's going to ever happen in an, in an argument. You're probably going to have to try and just say something. I, the words don't come to me now. You need to try and say something in a way that people can understand. So if you just quote stuff from a theology book, it's not going to be understandable. But if I maybe try and word things for you guys so you can understand it better, if I try and have more practical apologetics, then hopefully my videos and live streams will be more useful in future. So both an aggressive guy being on a live stream, trying to force everyone to go into his live streams to answer his questions instead of dealing with them on Facebook peacefully and able to communicate ideas better, along with me trying to work on making better quality audio for my videos without me having to cut out so much, having, without having to repeat myself so much, so that everyone can understand me properly. I won't be doing any live streams in the foreseeable future of my channel. Now, hopefully that does change at some point in the future and I can make live streams and interact with you all better, but I don't know how long that'll be. Just pray for me that I'm able to get to that point soon. And yeah, if something does happen like on my channel so that it does say that I'm, I am live streaming, I can, I can tell you now that either there's something going on in which I'm trying to let people know about it and it's an emergency or someone's hacked into my channel. Okay. Just keep an eye out for that. If I start live streaming out the blue, there's no way I would ever do that unless maybe I was doing a test, but then I'm sure I'd probably say test live stream or something, but otherwise don't expect a live stream for a little bit of time. And all of you, my critics out there who may see this video, I'm not going to have a live stream with you until I work on myself and presenting my case better. So don't try and force me into a live stream because I will not do it. It is not a sign of cowardice. It's me acknowledging that I'm not able to present a proper case simply because of limit of problems I have with my own communicating messages from my brain to my mouth. I already explained that in that video already. But that's it for this video. So have a good week, all of you. God bless you all. See you next video, comrades. Until then.